All right, here's our last distance and midpoint video. So maybe you've already started labeling your points, x1, y1, x2, y2. Starting out with the distance. Oops. All right, the distance is equal to the square root of, now I'll do the formula correct this time, subtract the x's, x2 minus x1, so 3 minus a negative 3 becomes plus, square it, add to that, now we subtract the y's, y2 minus y1, so negative 8 minus 4, and then that gets squared. All right, so inside our parentheses, we have a 6 squared plus a negative 12 squared. And then I said this in the last video. Remember, anytime you square something in this step, your answers down here will always be positive because if you square a negative number, it comes out positive. 6 squared is 36. A negative 12 squared is a positive 144. 36 plus 144 is 180, and then we're going to try to see if we can simplify the square root of 180. So do any of those perfect square numbers fit into 180? 4, 9, 16, 25, you just start dividing by them. You're going to find that 36 fits in 5 times. And we know that 36 is the biggest one because 5 cannot be reduced. So our distance is, the square root of 36 is 6 square roots of 5. All right, moving on to our midpoint formula. Again, ordered pairs, add the x's, negative 3 plus 3, divide it by 2, that gets you to the middle. Add the y's, 4 plus a negative 8, Divide by 2, that gets you to the middle. All right, so negative 3 plus 3 is 0, divided by 2. 4 plus a negative 8 is negative 4, divided by 2. 0 divided by 2 is 0. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So our midpoint is 0, negative 2.